Hello, everyone. It is, oh, not July. It is May 13th. We're going back in time. May 13th, 1989, Miami, Florida. And there's the biker. The man we ran into at Phone Hom. You think I'm stupid, huh? I look stupid to you. I know you aren't telling me everything. You helped me get into this mess. You told me it would be exciting, didn't you? Well, I'm fucking bored. I'm done, man. I've had it. I want out. And you're going to tell me how. This stupid game's going to end now, you hear me? All, all right, all right. Calm down, man. You don't realize how much trouble I'll be in. There's a guy hiding out at the Blue Dragon, a tiny Chinese restaurant downtown. He knows more. Just don't mention my name to anyone, okay? I'm as good as dead anyway. There's Aubrey. With the Aubrey mask. And uh, we're the biker now. Now remember, the biker said he was close to something. Here we are at Safe House. So biker is interesting. He does not have a selection of masks he can wear. He just has his helmet. And he has a, an interesting ability here that he has his cleaver and he can throw three knives. So he can be a mix. Oh, well I fucked up here. With my knives outside. Went. I'm gonna play peekaboo with him. Okay, that worked out pretty good actually. Play peekaboo here. Fuck! Alright, here we go. Charlie! Fuck me! Ah. Uh. Have to use a knife for that guy. You have to. All right, and this guy. All right. <laughs> Fuck! Uh. This is such a tiny level. Cool. All right. All right. All right. Now we cannot fuck this up. Okay. Okay. No! Oh, all right. Okay. We can't fuck this up at this point. All right, cool. All right. Got Charlie mask. And here's the technician. Look here, punk. I got some things I need to know, so you better answer my questions, okay? Who are the people who keep leaving me messages? And don't even think about bullshitting me, okay? I won't hesitate to pull you apart if I have to. Uh, I'll tell you what I know. Just don't hurt me. I can't tell you who's calling the shots, but they're using the phone hom to sweep up their trails. I only helped them set it up at the station. You'll have to hack into their system to trace them. I went into hiding as soon as the job was finished. They seemed to have some form of political agenda. Scared the shit out of me. I spent all my savings on getting this rat hole. That's all I have. Okay, so... 
we've opened up a big can of worms here. There are people that have a political agenda in sending people towards Russian mobsters. And they are using phone hom to create false leads, which is what Jacket fell for. You unlock the Charlie mask for Jacket. All right, now welcome to Biker's apartment. Thank you for subscribing to our newsletter. We appreciate your interest in our cause. America is a tune. It must be sung together. Fifty blessings. Hmm. You have one new message. Hello, it's Mark from Miami Drop Off. It looks like you missed your delivery last night. We've got another parcel for you today. Please drop it off at Southwest 100 and South Place. Our clients will not tolerate further delays. Okay. Fun and games. Alright, so we're at the arcade here. Which is where we've been summoned. Fuck. Right, do this. Get him. Get him. Get him. Alright. We got... Him. That took care of him. Right, this guy's by himself. Oh. Okay. And I, I think that just leaves this guy here. Okay. Cool. Not too bad. Unfortunately, I don't think you can get your knives back after you kill, use them to kill somebody. So, we've used two of our knives. Now we go upstairs. Okay. Oh, oh, fuck. Dogs here. Fuck! I thought I could get back in there. Let me get me. Peekaboo! Okay. Three guys in here. Oh, fuck! Woo! <laughs> We got three guys in here, we just need a massacre, so we're just gonna... Boom! No. Fuck! Okay. Alright. Okay, dog's taken care of there. These guys are all... guys are pipes and... It's a guy with a gun down there. See? I almost fell for a big trick there. Hello. Hello? Oh! Knife guy in the bathroom there. Okay, so I think we bypass this. Oh no! 
Did I get him? Oh, I did! That's perfect. Okay. So we're just gonna swing around here. Right. Got him. Alright, and then it was just this guy. Oh, and there is one more guy in the bathroom, see? That would've been bad. Alright. Yep. Got this guy! Alright, we got it! Woo! Tough ass level, dude. Alright. Before we go any further, here's our puzzle. Alright, let's see here. I'll play around here and see what happens. Cause if I had to figure out a word here, I it's not it's not gonna happen. Okay. okay. Alright. Okay. I was born in the USA. We've solved the puzzle. Okay. Puzzle's been solved. So what does that tell us? We thought there was Russian mobsters behind the phone calls. I was born in the USA. So it's Americans that are behind it. For political reasons. That tells me that uh, they are not fans of uh, oh, strange people here. They are not fans of Russians. Now remember, Russia is in a war, or was in a war with the USA, and bombed San Francisco. And the USA formed a treaty with Russia. Hi, it's Jane. It was nice to see you again. How about another day tonight? Pick me up at Northeast 158th Street around 9, okay? And put on one of those nice suits you've got. You're taking me somewhere fancy this evening. Alright. Prank call. Okay, we are here at the phone hom. Ah, recognize this place? So we've killed all the workers, and now... Stay away from me! Security! Security, look sir, please don't kill me. Please, I'll do anything. Ugh. Now... Interesting. North 87th place, huh? So that's where you've been hiding. Uh-oh. It's Jacket. Get out of here if you don't want to die. Okay, have it your way. You had your chance. Now wait a minute. So, when Biker visioned this, he killed Jacket. When Jacket visioned this, he killed Biker. Hmm. Seems like we have two unreliable narrators.
May 24th, 1989, Miami, Florida. You have one new message. Hi, it's Ben from Miami F Funeral Parlor. I'm just calling to tell you that we have the tombstone you ordered done and ready to be delivered. With a little luck, you should be getting it before the weekend. Click. Hmm. Sounds like a threat. Resolution. All right. Oh, remember that guy? Oh. What's this? Looks like I need a password access to the computer. Let's try something. I was born in the USA. Ah, there we go. I see. So that's your game, huh? Wait a minute. It was the janitors all along. So this is the base of your operations, huh? Infiltrating the enemy. How clever of you. You're the asshole from Phone Home last night. What do you want? I looked through your computer upstairs, and I thought we should have a little talk about your line of work. You don't know shit. Our system is password protected. No one knows a password but the two of us. I was born in the USA? How the hell did you figure that out? Let's just say I used a little magic. So let me get this straight. You're nationalist scumbags. You threaten your members into doing your dirty work. And this whole thing is a two-man operation? You could say that. Though we like to call ourselves patriots. We volunteer to conduct this little experiment by ourselves. But I can assure you, we're just the tip of the iceberg. We're setting up operations all over the country. How do you come up with this crazy scheme? Crazy? What you need to realize is that all you gotta do to get people to do what you want them to is make them think there'll be consequences if they don't. It's a principle our whole society is built upon. So it's okay to threaten people into killing each other? Wake up, man. Don't you see this is a country of war? That the blessings of foundation for patriots. Our members must fill out a form in which they state that they're willing to die for the sake of our nation. You might remember this. You remember too, right? And you expect to topple the Russo-American coalition using methods like this? Oh, don't you worry about that. We'll have this country back on its feet soon enough. Give us five years and you'll see what we're capable of. This is just a first step. You'll understand in time. We've got some very powerful people on our side. You know what? I think I've heard enough now. I have no interest in politics. You people have wasted enough of my time already. And that, my friends, is the true ending to Hotline Miami. And the biker is off to another world, driving off to the desert, away from Miami. And we will revisit this story in Hotline Miami 2 very shortly, where we will find the purpose of everything that just happened. Oh, and we got the Nigel mask. Yay!